Okay, in this video, pre-calculus, we are going to be in unit eight, so right triangle applications, we're still doing that. And in this video, we're going to talk about bearing. And when we talk about bearing, we need to think of the definition. So what is bearing? Well, you've heard the saying, um, you just have to get your bearings, okay? Just kind of see where you are. So that's the same kind of thing we're talking about with our mathematical bearing. So we are, uh, our bearing is used to describe the direction an object is traveling or where we're, where we're seeing an object moving. It measures an acute angle that a path of a uh, line of sight makes with a fixed north line. So we're gonna talk about two different kinds of bearing. And if you will notice in these examples here, you can probably immediately tell that they look different. The quadrant bearings that I have in the top here, they all have direction associated with them. But down here under true bearing, these don't have any direction. They're just degrees. So the way we deal with bearings is different. So based on the kind of bearing you have, and you'll be able to tell what kind it is based on what it looks like. So if you have one of these up here that gives you north and east, north and west, south and west, south and east, these are called your quadrant bearings. And they are directional measurement. between 0 and 90 degrees east or west of a north-south line. Okay, so when we are working on quadrant bearings, the very first thing we're going to do when looking at these is we're going to label north, east, west, and south. So that is where we're going to start. All right, so I'm going to do that for each of these because that's going to help us draw in our bearing angle. And yes, it will always be like this. Okay, so when we're finding our quadrant bearings, this very first example, the north tells me where to begin. That means I'm beginning above my horizontal line. The east tells me the direction I'm heading. Okay, so I know that I'm beginning north. So I'm going to put my pencil down somewhere up above the horizontal line. It doesn't really matter where you put your pencil, okay? Because we are going to then move from north in the east direction 70 degrees. So I'm going to move to the east about 70 degrees. That's how you draw that, just like that. <laughs> yes, every time. Okay, so let's look at this one. It's north, 40 degrees west. So I'm gonna put my pencil somewhere above the horizontal axis. And this time I'm gonna move about 40 degrees in the west direction. Just like that. Okay, for these quadrant bearings, we have south 15 degrees west, so I'm going to put my pencil on a value or on the vertical line uh, below the horizontal line. And this time I'm going to move 15, direct, 15 degrees in the direction west. And then for this final one, I've got south, so I'm going to put a dot right there, you know, somewhere below the horizontal line. And this time I'm moving in the east direction for 25 degrees. So I'm just gonna move 25 degrees. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but there you go. 
That's exactly what you're going to do. That's how you draw bearings that are quadrant bearings. Now we're going to look at true bearings. Now true bearings are going to be a little bit more complicated because with a true bearing, you're not really given any guidance as to where to start. So for a true bearing, there are some rules. You always start at north and you always move clockwise. And that means this way, all right? So that is what that's going to look like. This is also a directional measure, but now where the angle is measured from clockwise or from north clockwise. All right. So um, as we look at a true bearing, we are going to label north, and this is where we're going to begin. And we're going to move this direction 130 degrees. Well, I know that one quadrant is 90 and that two quadrants is 180, so it's about right there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. 250, I'm going to start north, I'm labeling north, and I'm going to go through two quadrants because that's 180, but I'm not going to go quite through the third one because that would be too far at 270. Okay, at 50 degrees, I'm starting north. I'm going to label it. And then I'm just going to move clockwise 50 degrees. This last one is 300, so I'm going to label north. So I'm starting here, and I'm going to move this direction. I go through three quadrants because that's 270 plus about 30 more degrees. So that's 300. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to apply bearing. You're going to love it.